Hello everyone, this is Amrit. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about color gamma shift. This problem, I think it happens to every colorist that's coloring in DaVinci Resolve. And I searched a lot about this problem and didn't find any solution about that. And then I talked with Blackmagic and they told me a solution and that solution works for me and i want to share it with you so i hope it's going to be helpful for you too so yeah let's get started this is a footage i already done with color grading and and now let's just export it everything is a basic settings that comes with when you download the software so now we are done with exporting let's see the results in quick time so we can clearly see the shadows are a little crushed and saturations a little less saturated and yeah that happens every time and it didn't happen in vlc player so i saw some youtubers say hey don't see in quick times it but it's all uh, they say don't see it in quick time and that's in vlc player it's nothing it's wrong here but yeah something is wrong because everyone has like iphone ipad and when they are going to see their uh, videos and always they see a difference because they work with quick time player and here's the difference now we are going we are seeing in vlc player no difference same shadows saturation levels are same but when we see our quick time video they are definitely in difference so how we can fix it so let's jump into it go in doing choose our preference setting and in general tick these ones use mac display color profiles automatically tag rec 709 and this Take this one, save it, and it says you have these settings will change when you are going to restart resolve again. Just restart your software. Let's just do it. So after restarting it, let's uh, and one more thing. Make sure in project settings in color management your timeline color space is rec 79 gamma 2.4 and yeah then go to deliver page and you don't have to do anything just make sure everything is same as project color space same as project gamma and everything is same as before and just give it a name just quick name and add it and render it and yeah we are done with our rendering let's see the results in quick time and see shadows are same saturation level are same everything just perfect so this is it this is how you can fix it it's simple as that so if you like my video please make sure you like this video and share with your friends who need this help and make sure you subscribe my youtube channel so whenever i am going to upload my next video you can see it mm -hmm.